thank you for coming in. Good afternoon, Nidley. Now, I guess you, you just missed out on the finals, but uh, would you have thought that that was a possibility given the first half of your year? Well, we looked uh, a bit shaky early. Mm -hmm. you know, we had some, uh, probably some disappointments, but uh, I think that's what we've uh, grown to see, you know, the, the last couple of seasons where the young lads tend to start that little bit slower and... Uh, and uh, particularly if you haven't got a couple of experienced guys out there to help. And uh, I think that was probably one of our problems earlier on. But uh, full credit to the kids. They grew in confidence as the uh, year went on. And uh, certainly we come home well, but we fell just short. Just so short. Uh, short on percentage. And not, not easy for you either with so many of your senior players injured. Mm. Uh, so you've had a really tough year all, all round, I guess, isn't it? Oh, well, that's, uh, that's a part of it. The, the course you take, I guess, when you've... Uh, you, each year you're drafting young players in and uh, look, every club definitely has injuries and, uh, you know, uh, but uh, more importantly, you know, you, you go in with what you've got and uh, the important thing is that uh, you see the kids improving and uh, make sure they follow instructions <laughs> and uh, hopefully you, you, you're competitive and uh, you, can, you might get up with a win. How critical has been having a standalone side been in terms of what you feel is the right thing of developing players for your senior mm. AFL side? Oh, it's been very important and uh, that's one thing that Kevin and uh, the match committee, we're, we're very strong on uh, to get these young lads in, you want to develop them as quickly and fast track them as quickly as you, you can and because uh, it's just so important in keeping the senior team up there and, and being competitive so uh, you know, I think the the way it, it is at the moment is running quite well. It'd be nice, obviously, to be uh, you know participating in the finals because we've still got our senior side sort of been involved in footy. Now we're finished, so uh, it, but uh, oh no, it's uh, now you, it's not to talk about allowing them to the Bendigo mm. diggers. You've looked around, mm. looked at Bendigo, and looked at some other regions as well. How likely is it that you'll perhaps? match up with somebody else for, for next season? Well, I think, Beverly, that's, that's just a normal process that each year at the, uh, you know, the uh, directors will sit down and just go over and assess uh, the season uh, as it was and uh, from a VFL point of view. And, uh, you know, they've had a look at uh, the, the, the feasible studies on whether, how it would be if we were to merge with another VFL club, so it would be uh, Bendigo or the Bull Ants and... Uh, there's been nothing sort of uh, nothing, that, that's decided. nothing decided as yet, but uh, they're certainly looking at it. It's uh, it's oh, a fairly high one running. One or the other? Well, I think they're sort of sitting on the fence a little bit with it. I mm -hmm. think they're uh, gathering all, in all this information, and uh, they'll make a decision shortly. And uh, whichever way it will go, I think it uh, one of the main criteria will be that uh, to make sure that the young lads get every opportunity to be uh, fast tracked and. Uh, and th that we can develop their football as quickly as we can. So, so in a sense, your focus remains developing players for the yep. senior side rather than necessarily the VFL competition? Well, it's, uh, well, if you, you develop them, it's going to help you in the competition, yeah. the VFL competition as well. So, uh, But we, as you would know, we, we need to rely on a couple of players just to support the, the players in the event of injuries and things like that. So maybe we can get a little bit better and a little bit stronger in that area as well. But uh, look, it's been a, a great challenge and... Uh, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, you know, and uh, just to see the kids come on. Would this have been your best year? Because it's, in a sense, as the VFL side has struggled a little mm. in the competition. Would you be happy, happiest with this year? Or? Oh, look, uh, I'm happy with the way we finished. Yes, you know, yes. no one. Uh, you like to be involved in finals. That's what it's all about. Yes. And that, but uh, the number one thing is, as we've said already, that uh, the development of younger players. And and gee, it's a real bonus if you. You're super competitive and you're up there like the Geelongs are. You know, Geelong have had a great season with mm. their young contingent of players, but you can just see that's a, a, a typical example. If you get a Mensch and a, a McGrath and a, a Kilpatrick there on the odd occasion come back, it just makes a huge difference and it's, it's just what you need. You only need one or two senior players and all of a sudden you're, you're, you're very competitive. Now, your, your senior side's still in the action, much yep. to some of our disappointment. Well, <laughs> it's... Uh, no. But it, you're coming, in a sense, players are coming back in mm. at the right time of year, which is really critical. Anything mm. can happen. Certainly, Beverly, and, and that's probably one of the reasons we finished off on a good note. Gradually, bit by bit, the Herds come back, the Lloyds and, uh, you know, the Curies and, and, and uh, the Alessios, they're all sort of coming back at the right time. And uh, the better your list, list is, as you would know down there with Melbourne at the moment, mm. uh, yeah, yeah the, the stronger you're going to be, and uh, you know, you just need everyone up and uh, and 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 uh, up for selection at the right time. Mm. We'll get some scores and then join the boys. Uh, we'll just look at the AFL matches underway so far. Collingwood.
2, 4, 6, 10. The doggies are something to prove this weekend, as we all know. 4, 3, 27. And that's a quarter time score. Um, the Adelaide match I'm yet to get underway down at Footy Park, but in the VFL box hill, Hawks 3 1 19. It's going to be a close one with Sandy 3 1 19. And we have a final score. No, we don't have that final score. We'll give that to you a little later on the final score in the reserves box hill Sandy match. But uh, we're crossing back out uh, now, I think, uh, to Ross Bruce, who's standing by on the. Before I do that, though, I wrote, Terry, good luck with the, the senior boys. and Congratulations on an, another great year and, and an interesting one for you to make those decisions for next year. Thanks for coming in. Thanks very much, Ed. From Terry Danaher.